Sanctuary this morning. It is just a little bit northwest of <coughs> Palm Springs, and it's a place that rescues and I wolves. Need to feed a wolf. And if you're over five feet tall, they let you get in with the wolves and pet them. So I'm I'm not doing that. But I'm doing it. I don't think you're five foot tall. I don't think you're five foot yet. Yeah. We're but gonna see. Maybe she will let us ride one. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, so they ask you to bring treats for the wolves, which can be anything from bones, marrow bones, to raw meat, like and steak, I'm gonna feed hamburger them. meat, chicken. And I'm going to feed a wolf. So we brought about 10 pounds of chicken and a five pound bag of marrow bones. So hopefully that'll keep the wolves happy and they will eat that. I think us. the marrow bones are going to be awesome. Yeah. Do you think they could crack them in one bite? We're going to see. I had a fight. I need a fight. Please, please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh, honey, no, our friendship ceases from now on. Please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh, honey, no, our friendship ceases from now on. Okay, let's go. What do you mean the feather's sticking out? Yeah, raw meat. <laughs> Here, throw it to Olia. Olia. See the blackbird? Throw it to her. Mm -hmm. That was raw meat. That was raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you're too funny. I know it. <laughs> is in with the wolves now Evelyn and I are out here playing in the playhouses and she's having so much fun so if you're um, under five feet yes. if you're under five feet like Evelyn is five feet tall um, then you can't go in when the wolves are outside of their pens um, they really hone in on people that are shorter it was crazy when we walked into the center of the enclosures all of the wolves came to the to the doors of their enclosures to stare at Evelyn and they honed in on her so quick, so it's really amazing.
All right, so tell us about your wolf experience. So the wolves are pretty indifferent to everything that humans do. Uh, they just do their thing, we do our thing. They're not like dogs. So if you want a pet, don't get a wolf. Get a dog. <laughs> Over and out. What'd you think of uh, the wolf? I thought they were super cool. I was a little nervous at first to pet the first wolf because it was so big and it was just like out there but it was actually really sweet and like came right up to me and laid down which was kind of neat because it was being wild with all the other people so I felt like a wolf whisperer <laughs> and so it was really cool I like their mission uh, what they're doing out here at Wolf Mountain I like how they're trying to help the wolves and they keep them from being put down if they're caught in captivity or Whatever. So she has a really nice mission and she t tries her best to take really good care of the animals. It's a pretty unique experience when you come out. Um, it's not going to be like you expect. It's not like a wildlife park or... Um, I mean, it's rough. It's tumble. Yeah, it's a, um, just a different environment, but it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool out here. Um, they were telling me that in the wintertime, so it's, it was neat on the property, there were so many animals that just came to them, just came to her, like ravens and roadrunners um, were just coming up to the owner of this property and getting food. They weren't scared at all. And she also says she has three coyotes that come at night. She feeds those over the fence. Um, there's also a herd of wild donkeys that comes down from the mountains every winter. They bring a new baby with them um, and they stay right outside of her property. So it's just sort of like a mecca for wild animals, which was really, really cool to see. She's a land whisperer. She's the animal whisperer. So that was super cool. So if you want to go out and experience something like that, um, this is this is a great place to do it. enjoyed our brief tour of the Wolf Mountain Sanctuary. So as always if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you would subscribe to our channel so that you can keep up with this adventure and all of our adventures in the future. We look forward to seeing you again in the next video and we will talk to you soon. Over and in. <laughs>